Right, welcome back to Five. Stephen Alston, Joel Bayer. This time we're doing this and that with Rio Ferdinand. It's going to be some arguments. Let's just do it. <laughs> All right. Question number one. We discussed Burkamp a lot in the Bible Five episode, but this or that. Comments, get involved. We loved the comments last week. We want you guys to let us know. Cantona versus Burkamp. Who are you going for? I'm going last. It's going to be controversial as a main United player, but for me, hardest to play against was Dennis Burkamp. Wow. Do you know what's nuts? I'm going for Eric Cantona. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> you? I, I think, do you know why? It's because only one. Because I think he's the king, man. Before United come, he turned that club upside down, like, like after he come. No, I, I get say, what because, you're saying. In that sense, Cantona's like and revolutionized. I feel like, and I feel like as a leader, yeah, he, wa he wasn't technically as good as Burkamp. Oh, I don't know. Uh, no, he wasn't. He was not. Joel, I, Burkamp, I think they're the both Iceman. pretty much on the same shift. No, they're not. But Completely you see, remember different. the goal against Sunderland at Old Trafford? So remember Burkamp's goal? No, Burkamp's got a bad goal. I'm not saying, but you can't, I don't think you could dismiss Cantona like that. I'm not, I'm not saying that he's like rubbish. I'm just saying Burkamp was the nah. ultimate technician. No, nah, I right. think The guy was I next levels. I think they're on a level. The, what Cantona know, had. I was what actually, Cant actually Burkamp. What, <laughs> what Cantona. He's done bits. What Cantona had, right, that Burkamp didn't have is. And the collars. It's the. You know when you're playing for him, I've heard Ian Wright say this once, yeah, he goes, when David Beckham, Paul Scholes, Nicky Butt, all those guys got called into the England team, not Nicky Butt, but Beckham and Scholes, he said he could tell that Cantona had drilled them boys well. His leadership skills, because sometimes he threw his toys out the pram, we forget the guy was an ultimate, how many, how many times did he win the league as well? He won it every season, every season in English football like he finished. Mm. So minus the year when he got... Correct, that's so like four or five years, isn't it? Four years. Um... Matching. It was four with United, one with Mills, and one with Leeds. So that's not. Matching. So, and we lost that by a goal. I'm just saying from the point <laughs> of just. <laughs> I'm just saying from from playing, he was like Cantona was not real. That, but, but that Burkham, whole element is me. part of playing. Yeah, but the aura. <sighs> Last night in the comments. Yeah. Second question. It's, it's Cantona. Well, it's well Cantona first of all, Cantona wins this asking. one. Cantona won, but go on. Um, yeah, for me it's Eric. I, I liked Burkham. I thought Burkham was was a, a joy to watch. And that's why I think your 98 team was better than the one that drew loads. What, in the, in Invincibles, yeah? They weren't Invincibles, you lost six times. Okay, cool. Um, but for me, Bergkamp's one of the reasons why that team sits was, above the rest, because he was unreal. He was he was absolutely brilliant. But I got, I'll go with Cantona just a little bit more, because Cantona just brought that X factor, didn't he? Mm. He Number was two. off his nut. Number, Number two. two. <laughs> <sighs> What's this El Floppio here? Mm. Liverpool, Phil Coutinho, or Arsenal, Alexis Sanchez. This is a difficult one, you know? No, Sanchez. <clears throat> I, I'm going Sanchez, okay. but I feel like Coutinho had, <laughs> he was he was literally carrying that team on no, their back Sanchez, as well. Man. I think Sanchez by a stretch as well. You reckon? Yeah. I reckon Sanchez had Ozil, which was the help, but I reckon Philip Coutinho had no one. Uh, that Liverpool team and that Arsenal team were both cash, so it don't really matter. Uh, Alexis Sanchez. Yeah, yeah. Sanchez he wins. wins. Go on then, next what do you guys one. reckon? Next one. Pele or Maradona? Maradona was my, my guy, I have to say. I didn't see enough of Pele, but Maradona is my guy. The reason, one of the reasons I probably started playing football. From the highlights that I've seen, I go with Maradona as well because I, I'm not saying Pele never got kicked. I'm not saying that, you know, great respect to the late Pele, but I just feel like Maradona's story, from what I know, is uh, is mad, especially when he went to Barcelona and that was before he actually won the World Cup. I just think- Mate, what he did in Napoli, Napoli alone. Napoli. Napoli. And oh, like, I'm always man. gonna err on the side of a lunatic. And Maradona <laughs> was an absolute <laughs> lunatic. Give me flavor every single time. So, and, and it's Maradona's not to say that Pele didn't have flavor, but I know Maradona's story a little bit better. He gets that one. Uh, Prime Wenger or Prime Klopp? <laughs> Wenger. Ooh. Wenger done it over a bigger period of time. One more. Wenger. You could think, argue I that Klopp would, I think Klopp would tell you he'd say Wenger as well. What, he's, he's, saying, he's, he's throwing shots at Wenger, mate. Way. Yeah, they changed the fortunes of the club and they changed... I think they changed English football, a pair of them. I'm, I'm going Wenger. Mm. I think he's the only world-class manager that will get away with being world-class and not winning the Champions League. It's mm, a big shout. That's what I reckon. Mm. Yeah, Wenger. Yeah, Wenger, Wenger wins. Uh, last penalty to win, Benzema or Lewandowski? I don't know the stats. The eye test, go for the eye test. <laughs> I'm always going to, again, I'm going to go with the chaos and Benzema. Last penalty to win, I'll go Benzema. Yeah? It's cool, isn't it? Even just his Instagram, it's cool. Yeah, I'll go Benzema <laughs> as well. I'll go Benzema as well. A man that goes to an award ceremony dressed as Tupac yeah. is the answer. Feeling oh, yeah. that. <laughs> Feeling that. He must have a deal with Tupac's estate. Yeah. Prime Van Persie or Prime Rude Van Nistelrooy? Wow. 
Oh, it's a hard one. They're both my guys. Vanistra, when I turned up there, they, the crowd only sang his name. Rude. That's all they sang. And then Robin Van Persie turned up and won us the league. Like, that's not that. This is, this is not a sentimental thing, Rio. It's I'm just telling you. I'm, state, state, I'm stating facts, hard facts. We we know the facts. Trust me, I know the facts. I'm gonna go just because his all round game was, I think, better. I'm gonna go Van Persie. But in terms of just being a devastating finisher, and that's all you're asking. If I had a chance to drop to someone, I'm going rude. Yeah, but the, but question, the all round the game the for me, I'm going is, Van Pistol, Van Van Persie. I got. I'm going Van Nistelrooy. Prime Van Nistelrooy, yeah, is I reckon if you put him in City's team, yeah, he gets, he's, he gets he's 50. doing Harland yeah, he almost Harland numbers. Yeah, he does, he does. But I'm just almost. saying, I'm, I'm saying, all yeah. round player, almost all round player. I'm going Van Persie. All round, no, I agree with you there. But that's if you're that's talking prime, going. because if you're talking like prime, if yeah, Van Nistelrooy was Bagsman, prime, be, Van, Van, Van Nistelrooy might be the the most devastating finisher I've played with. <sighs> So this is the hardest one yet. You reckon? Yeah, There's for nothing me. in this. Yeah, yeah. There I, is nothing you, in either this. Either side of the fence, you're happy. If I pick Rude, I'm happy. If I pick Robin, I'm happy. But I'm just going to swing because of the all round game, being able to play it into him and the way he used to hold it up and bring others into the game. It's and he's left footed. I'm going left footed. I'm Van going Van Nistelrooy. You're going Van Persie. Give us a name. Come on. <sighs> Steve. Right. There is nothing between. Just give us a name. Oh my god! Flip rude. a coin or something. You got rude. a coin. Rude. Okay, rude wins. Rude wins. I'm happy with that. Steven Gerrard or Frank Lampard. Is Prime. How bad they are as managers or how good they were as players. <laughs> this guy's yeah, an idiot. Because there's nothing in between. This. Oh, oh man. shit. This players. <laughs> Go on. It's a tough one. Lampard all day. Go. On. Rio's thinking. Who am I working with at BT next? Go on. But if I'm a, this is the way I always judge this. If I'm a manager, mm. Frank gives me 20 goals a season. So I'm going Frank. If I'm paying to watch him play, I go Stevie. That's a that's a good way to look at. Um, he's, he's, what he's thinking is, why would I want a five yard pass when he could kick it out <laughs> for sixty for it. a goal kick? No, no, but that's the way I look at these two. But I, but, but, I love Frank. Stevie like, puts up what he done in the big games, man. Yeah. Stevie. But I'm gonna go. No, Frank. I'm Frank, you know, I'm gonna, Frank I'm gonna, did I'm big gonna, games. I'm gonna go Frank. <laughs> You 20 goals what, a season for think it was six massive, goals. Massive. Six, six, six seasons, 20 goals a season. You'd be happy with that with a striker, wouldn't you? Yeah. There was Any striker that Strikers like finished their career, hadn't done that. Yeah. Loads. Big ones. Loads Big ones. of them. Didier right. didn't do that. Nah, nah. He's got an awful record in some seasons. He's man. got the biggest goals, though. Five. Yeah, 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 Five yeah. goals yeah, one yeah. season. He's what Proper. Webhorse wants to be or should be. Um, How's he getting I that? say Steven Gerrard because growing up, he was my guy. So like, Frank wins that one then. You reckon? Explains so much about your analysis of football. All right. Nah, but it's like what he's talking about. There's an emotional attachment there that sometimes. Is oh, I've got really an emotional difficult. attachment. Go on, right, I've just seen go. it. Go on. What are you going here next? Buffon and Casillas. <sighs> I'm going to go Casillas. Because he, he he was the first goalkeeper I played against. He, he, he was like a sweeper. Yeah. We played against Spain at the Bernabeu, and I was mm -hmm. like, Waza was running right, running mad in that game. And every time he put the ball through, Casillas swept up. I thought, wow. Really? And what he done, how what he achieved when he came in that team, well. I'll go Casillas as well. Um, it's a tight one, this one, by the way. Um, it is. Because of what Buffon done, but no fault of his own, but Juve got penalised a little bit as well. So I reckon Buffon's we have to longevity, take that into, well. yeah, we have to take that into consideration. I'm going Casillas. Buffon. Casillas wins, wins that one. On. 10. Saka versus Foden. Ooh, easy. If you'd have asked me this 18 months ago, I'm going, to, I'm going to Foden. Foden. Right now. Saka. Can't look past Saka. Straight up. Saka. He wins that one. Haaland versus Skinhead Rooney. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense. Because, Why does it not make sense? Because Skinhead Rooney has achieved way more. So answer, ask the question. I'm going Skinhead Rooney because what Rooney had done by his age, a mad thing. Skinhead Rooney had already won the league how many times? Uh, only, like, only once. Skinhead Rooney was a, a real problem. Once or twice. It was. All facets of the game, an absolute nightmare. Sleepless nights for centre-halves around Europe. Haaland's doing that now, but I just need to see more from Haaland. You can't yeah. put him in that category of Rooney yet. Yeah, yeah. How, he just, how argumentative was Skinhead Rooney? Did you see a change in Skinhead Rooney? I, to I, I never, I never shouted at Rooney without a response. Really? <laughs> and it normally involved an F and a U. Somewhere. Did it annoy you? How did you get I past that? Like, really? I just, if I knew that he, when, when he done that, I knew he was tuned in. Yeah. And the next time he gets the ball, or next time he's got a chance to nail someone, 
I know it's happening. Joe, you know when he was arguing with the ref for that Newcastle goal, oh, yeah. your angle of that goal must have been oh. brilliant. I'd love to <laughs> <laughs> Did like, you see him arguing with the ref on the way in as well, or did you no, just no, see no, connection? No, 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 no. I just saw the connection and just thought, wow, fuming. this kid's different. You see the way he was fuming? Yeah. He thought he got sent off. But he was angry in all parts of his life. Mm. He wasn't just angry on the pitch them times. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere you went with Wazza, if something didn't go his way, something got broken. Is but, he a road rager? Have you ever been in a car with no, him? No, off the pitch he's calm. No. He's I was going to cool say, guy. you got on well Although, with him, Although, no, no, at the early parts he wasn't, because I remember walking to a nightclub with him and he, as we were walking, about six steps in, his coat was off, ready to rumble with someone. Because they went, once the blue, always the blue. Like, sarcastically. Is it? And he, he, his top come off. Like, and <laughs> like, we had to get him and like, bring him out. What did you think, like, when you're seeing a madman like that? Like, that I just obviously... thought he was nuts. I just thought everyone used to, we, to be fair, he used to be doing stuff and, or like, flipping out. We used to play PSPs, computer games. Right? Yeah. And if he lost, he'd just launch it. <laughs> like, and there ain't no way to repair them. You've got to buy a new one. Like, yeah. He just didn't care. Just, it, or the remote control for when we're playing, like, FIFA. If he's not, if he's losing, he just launch it, smash it, smash up everything. Did you like leave him alone a little bit, like? No, we used to laugh, but we'd get us that would be going, yeah. like, like cracking up, like laughing. But he no, was just. You got to make that like that. You got to wind him up more. Yeah, you got to make him. Feel he like was a loose, right loose, loose, loose cannon. But he done so well to curb that as his career went on. Prime Suarez or Prime Aguero? Aguero. No, I'm going Prime Suarez, you know. Never I'm going give him Prime Suarez. Ever. You Prime lot are, Suarez. You Prime lot Suarez. are forgetting what Suarez, Suarez was doing in Barcelona. He even banged a couple, you know, we need, for his new club. Patrick, his first game for Gremio. we got to look at, uh, get some stats for this year. It's yeah. just be a good, a good uh, discussion on in on the Vibra 5, maybe. Mm. But st best strikers of this generation, when you've got Benzema, Lewandowski, mm -hmm. Suarez... He's I don't know, his he's, he's, he's stats might be better than all of the, go the guys he's, underneath Rune, uh, Ronaldo and Messi. He was an okay. absolute... Problem. problem. Yeah, I'd go. They won't buy much, by the way, but Suarez. Yeah, for me. So I think it's. Uh, Aguero it's, was harder to play against. Was he? Go on. For me. Elaborate. He was harder. He could go both ways, left and right. Mm -hmm. Suarez was one of them on his right foot. So it's easier for you to defend against that. Not that it was easy, but it's easier than against someone like Aguero could go both ways. Quick, strong, aggressive, direct. 1 0 down in the 88th minute with CR7 in your team, or 1 0 down in the 80th minute with Messi in your team? I have to go with Ronaldo. Just because I've been there behind him when I'm sitting there and going, please score. I could go through countless. I could just give you one Fulham away to go and win the league. Needed a goal in the dying minutes of a game. And you're thinking just every time someone got it and I'm looking, where's Ronaldo? Get the ball to him. And then he delivers. He done it countless times. People forget some of the tricks as well that he used to pull out at United. Crazy. He was such a, a skillful, tricky winger that the way he devolved into that just goal machine centre forward was was nuts, really. Intelligence. Ronaldo, Ronaldo. i got to go Ronaldo. The most clutch player I've ever seen in my life. Don't get me wrong, Messi's so very clutch. World Cup, Messi was quite clutch. Yeah, he? he was. But <laughs> I, I'm not being funny here, but that's Ronaldo like that. Mm. When you're talking prime out of the two, like I, what he was doing for Portugal, you know, Euro 2000 and oh. flipping 16. Even the Euro qualifiers when he scored a hat-trick against Sweden to qual make a qualifier. It's moving it's like he just, uh, there's too many games where he just come just up in to, and produce when the time was asking for it. Yeah. So, the, the, the there's, not, there's nothing between them. No, the, the Ronaldo there is and Messi argument, Ronaldo. I think Ronaldo is far more adaptable to, to go to anyone from, from a Tony Pulis Stoke to probably even Barcelona um, at their peak. I think yeah. he adapts to any of those teams. You can't yeah. say that, man. Can't, uh, Not at their peak. I just did. <laughs> and I think, but I think the difference is, I think the play that you get out of Messi when the team is perfect for him probably is even more effective. Mm, yeah. Well, that like PSG this year. I don't really count. Tell you what, if PSG, if PSG win the Champions League, oof. what a year in it! I think Messi in that in that Barcelona team, there's never been a more perfect team for a player, and I think the level that you got out of him is untouchable. But I think if you was just anyone that wasn't Barcelona with that setup of of Xavi and Iniesta, anyone. Cristiano Ronaldo makes you levels and levels and levels better. I think he was just so adaptable because of the athlete that he was. And I think that's why comparing like for like is not the same. Because like that Argentina side that he grew up with, I know he's just won the World Cup with, with probably the worst Argentina team he's ever played in. <laughs> it's true, you know. <laughs> Some of the Argentina teams, because they never, 
played the, the right way Barcelona played for him he's used to getting the ball final yeah but don't on. forget though like Higuain he was a chance one ch- ch- um, opportunity yeah. away from winning the World, World Cup, Cup. Yeah. So, you know what I mean before like so he's done he's like he's, mate yeah. what was that 2014 eight years ago mm. Mm. Where did, where, listen it's splitting hairs here both of them could have said Alba but Ronaldo wins that one Rio thank you very much for joining myself Cheers, and Steve on this or that Steve are we back next week is it just me and you next I love week? this show I like Probably. it it's good, what else happened hmm? what's next week it's just this or that, me and you. All right, I don't know. We'll yeah, see. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see. see. You know what I mean? Let us know. We'll Let us know in the comments Front what Lampard questions you like. Free, I Throw the questions <laughs> in there as well. Uh, we will be back next week. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the other shows on 5 coming out soon. Peace. Peace.